What is up, guys? I'm Zuff. I'm Rob. I'm Bryce. And this is Real Time. So we're coming back at you with Season 2, Episode 6 of Bridgerton. This one is called The Choice. Last episode, uh, Kate and Anthony are just getting closer and closer. It honestly feels like they're like going apart at the same time, too, because Edwina is just right in the way. But um, Kate made Anthony promise to still go on with the wedding. Like, don't break my little sister's heart. You have to do it. I just, I don't know what's going to happen. They are yet to kiss. They've just been becoming so close to kissing. They obviously, they've told each other they liked each other. Anthony, um, Anthony literally said that if he marries Edwina, he's going to live his entire life always wanting her sister. He like, said hey, he's going to, he's going to, like, yeah, yeah, he's do gonna, stuff with her at a point. Uh, it's just, I hate it. I just want him to marry Kate instead. He said he's gonna go until his honor can't hold. And then he's gonna kiss her. He said he wants to do some crazy things to her. He can teach her about ladyhood or manlyhood. I forget what he said. But uh, that was crazy. I can't wait to see them finally freaking kiss and have the sex montage like the first season. Yeah, but last episode was, we got to meet the Sheffields. We had the dinner there at, uh, I think it was, Lady, Lady Danbury's, Danbury's, yeah, mm. and didn't like him. No, didn't have a good first impression of the Sheffields. Mom was literally the definition of a B word. Can't say that word right now, but she was very, very rude. So was the dad, but more so the mom. She just kept, kept, kept calling out Lady, Lady Mary. Mary and even like throwing jabs at Kate every mm -hmm. now and again, just completely unnecessary. After they gave him a few chances to like shut up, and after a while. Anthony was like, all Couldn't right, take it anymore. Get, get out of here. Uh, he was super disrespectful to them, mm -hmm. and I loved every second of it, dude. They deserved it. Yeah. He's a W man. Now that Anthony and Edwina are, like, officially engaged, I just, I don't understand how that's going to end. Like, how is he going to end up with Kate and make it, like, a not super massive ordeal scandal type thing but needs, i mean it's bridgerton so maybe that it's just inevitable that there's gonna be a huge scandal he needs to break it on her and i think he may i feel like the only the only way for them to like end this cleanly is if edwina just retracts her acceptance of the engagement like was it lady danbury that brought that up yeah someone brought that up and was like that's the only way it was the mom um, violet oh was it yeah yeah i can't remember but I think that's the only way that they can get out of this cleanly, but regardless, it's just a whole mess right now that needs to be sorted ASAP. Eloise is going and visiting, sneaking off to Theo Sharp. He is also a women's right, rights guy, and they had like a little concert or something for women's rights. Penn was getting a little sus of what Eloise has been doing because Elle's been skipping out on her walks and now she's stalking Eloise. Mm -hmm. Elle is in one of the bad districts uh, sneaking off to this guy and Penn sees it. I sense some jealousy. I sense some, um, some, some, no. some, 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 um, no, no, I think no, Penn's, no. Just, <laughs> no. Penn's just mad that <laughs> Eloise is lying, I think. I also think it's because that's her printer. That true, is the yeah, thing she yeah, prints. Yeah. She doesn't want so Eloise to did, find out. Yeah, I think that's the main reason. Yeah, 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 true, true, true. I don't think she's jealous. Not jealous. All right, guys. With all that being said, we're going to go right into Season 2, Episode 6 of Bridgerton. If you do like our videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We are getting so close to 100,000 subscribers. So make sure you pound that subscribe button. Check out our links in the description. We got the Patreon, the Discord, and all of our social medias. Make sure you follow all of those. And send us some stuff to the address at the very bottom of the description. That is our P.O. box. We do mail time on the channel, so make sure you check that out. And yeah, we're going to go right into this episode of Bridgerton. Let's do it. A march down the aisle may very well be the longest walk any young lady ever takes. Oh yeah, the queen's doing the wedding, huh? The, like, the nuciples or whatever. Nuptials? Yeah. Does it fly? Some oh my gosh, what is that a called? Peacock. Peacock, yeah. Well, it does not soar. Little peacock. Wow, it looks crazy cool. They're they're really cool. Yeah, they can change their how they look and stuff. I believe I asked for His Majesty's wing to be closed up today. I do not wish for anyone to lose their way and end up somewhere. Are we gonna see the king today? I I don't know. I hope not. 
What of our other grand plan? Is everything in place? Indeed. Every young lady that remains under suspicion of being Lady Whistledown will have a footman assigned her today, watching her every move. Oh man, they're gonna learn something. Someone's just gonna be walking around following Penn. They're and gonna. Eloise. I think they're gonna think it's Elle. Yeah, they're gonna see her like going back to the printer. Yeah, <laughs> and with Theo. I have faced a thousand tomorrows, but they have all been leading to this one. Tomorrow is a day you have been preparing for your entire life, dearest. You are ready. I mean, the wedding's tomorrow? Oh, like, they're gonna call it off at the wedding? This is gonna be bad. What, if they, get, what if they get married? Like, I think they will. Uh, That's what I've been saying this whole time. You both get to choose your passions and adventures. While I, on the other hand, must fulfill my... Tell me, dear brother, once you marry... I like to signify how they're drunk. It's just like kind of sideways camera yeah, angles. The, the cameraman's just like... Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks can be powerful, Bonnie. But also fleeting. Displays of mere passion, perhaps. Nothing more. So the Viscount feels little passion for me. Of course not. <laughs> what I mean to say mm. is that... Yeah. Feels a lot for Kate. Feels it all for Kate. All for Kate. None for Edwina. Not much will change at all, though soon enough. We will have a tiny Anthony to contend with, running around, <laughs> declaring all of his tiny duties too, no doubt. Mm. Yes, it too shall be a tyrant. I'm sensing a fight, a Bruin. His tiny duties. Do you think they're really gonna fight? I don't know. There could be a fight. What are they gonna fight about? They're just drunk and Anthony's so bottled up right now. There. I can see him getting mad. I don't think they're actually gonna like fist fight though. The toast. What is it we are drinking to, if not the future? Well, the sister. The sister. <laughs> oh no. The one you're in love with. This is a big shot. You're gonna guzz that thing. <laughs> oh Jeez, gosh, bro. he's drunk. He's gonna be hung for the wedding. Lord Featherington has so graciously allowed you to borrow this beautiful necklace for the occasion. It is very heavy. That means it's very valuable. Remember that. Oh, the fake ruby necklaces? Nice. Mm -hmm. And when the husbands come to you, you agree to the arrangements. Your confidence is admirable. I can see it. <sighs> she is a confident lady. She does get things done, but her plans usually never work. So I don't have high hopes for this. Uh, they're starting to get a little spark. I feel like he was kind of flirting with her there. Yeah, they're going to get married and then he's just going to bang the mom. And it's going to make Bruden so mad. That would be fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, it's it's very, very likely to happen. That mom doesn't give an F about anything. Because if there's trouble on the horizon, I cannot be associated. My business is too important. As is mine. And no, there's nothing to worry about, I assure you. Well, I'm very well. Hmm. I gave you a bad mistake. Good day. Hmm. Oh. Vivi? What are those? Those earrings? I think they're bracelets. Uh, Jenny, they are quite beautiful. Oh. How have I never seen them before? They belong to my mother. Oh. Oh, wow. I brought them for you. Oh. I beautiful bangles for a beautiful bride. Yeah, they're earrings. That go in your hand? Big earrings. Bracelet, you could say. Wrist. You must look presentable. Why does no one truly Look at Anthony. Or, no, it's Colin. It's Colin. <laughs> I feel like Anthony couldn't overcome a hangover easily with his anger. Out anger the hangover. Has anyone seen Anthony? Benedict, see that he is well. I'm sure the emotions of the day have somewhat confused him. There he is. Perfectly fine. You are ready? Of course I am. Born ready. He's a warrior. Shall we? I feel like he's just ready to get this over with, though. It's a business deal. Yeah. Mama it's Violet. Business. What do you think about Mama Violet? I like her. What do you think about her? I don't know. There's something going on. Her relationship with Anthony could be better, but I like her most of the time. It seems the two of us have not spoken since our dinner with the Sheffields. <laughs> yes, it seems so. Though, why would we? It's not as if you have even more private information you should love to share with me, do you? Mmm, -hmm. we're still a little salty. Lady Danbury did know. And what good is it anyway? To make what can you ever mean? Only to be written on dance cards. Oh, what of Lady Whistledown? She speaks on everyone without remorse. No, no, she does not speak at all. 
Sometimes it's weird whenever Penn like kind of gasses herself up yeah. like that a little bit, a little bit, a little, a little bad, a little bad. to be quite lovely and deserving of the truth, which we must not deny her. I'm confused. Who's denying what to whom? Benedict, you must excuse us. It seems mm. the Duchess has opinions. Oh, Daphne and Anthony are about to bicker. I want Anthony to be like, hey, where's Simon at today? Yeah. <laughs> why, why, is, why isn't one of my best friends at my wedding? The Duke. Your husband. And what is the sister? She has made her own plans for the future. Plans which do not include me. We have decided there is nothing more between us. There cannot be. Ugh. Yeah, for how long? I witnessed you change. The day he died, you know, you did not even weep once. And you stopped laughing. Altogether, in fact. Yeah, it was traumatic for him. And what choice did I have? I changed so that our family might survive. I agree with him. You can choose to be happy. To follow the desires of your heart instead of pushing away any feeling that comes to the surface. This combo should have had happened way earlier, not minutes before his wedding. And you will never understand because you were born to marry into another family while I was born to carry on the Bridgerton name. That is what outweighs anything else. True. That's true. All of these decisions that you seem to make and then resent us for, they do not make you worthy of your family's respect. They simply make us pity you. Mm, look at him. Ah. Uh, <sighs> I just feel bad for the guy. He's had it rough. Just go get a little smooch off with Kate before the weds. <laughs> Don't do that, please. I love it. I'm ready for the scandal to happen. I'm ready for everything. You look so beautiful, my darling. Edwina does look beautiful. Uh -huh. <laughs> but I'm ready to see an Edwina heartbreak. I'm sure I'd be crying in that dress eventually. It needs to happen eventually, though. We need to get her crying over with. It is time, my lady. Oh, God. Just put all of the nasty gossip behind us. Do, do they have the? Does anyone object back in the day for weddings? I hope. Probably I not. <laughs> I just feel so. I wish Miss Edwina wasn't so so cute and nice. <laughs> Colin, we love some Colin. Oh God, dude, we're here. It's it's here. It's gonna happen. <gasps> <gasps> oh. Oh God, he wishes that was. Jesus, dude. Look at them. They know. <laughs> we know what's up. Look at his face. Cressida, Will, we got some cool people here on the ends. Not Simon, though. Nope. Simon couldn't make the time. No, why? <laughs> dude. Dude. At your wedding, bro. Guys. Oh, People God. are looking. You can't look away that quick. It makes it sus. Here comes the bride. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I'm happy, happy, happy. I'm getting nervous, bro. Like, I'm, I'm not, really, really nervous. I just nervous. feel so much excitement. Like, this is what my wedding is going to be like. <laughs> exactly like this? Mm. Also, also, I'm not going to fall in love with the sister of my wife. <laughs> <laughs> She's like a... Thank you, my love. Cute little puppy being led into traffic. To join together this man. Violet looks pissed for some reason. Or Tony just pukes all over. Tony. <laughs> Tony Bridgerton. <laughs> That's awesome. Not taken in hand unadvisedly, oh. lightly. Wonder he's gonna look like oh, <laughs> Stop! You look can't at your wife. Look. look at your wife. Look at Edwina. 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 Look at your friend. <laughs> Edwina, how can you not be like, what are you, what are you looking at? Like, what? <laughs> Oh no! We can't get stared at gazed. We can't get stared at gazed. We just can't. Oh my fucking god, bro. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> Where'd everyone go? Oh, oh, come on, come back. Oh, look at that smile. Oh my god. I can't take it, I can't take it. It's so awkward. Oh gosh, stop, stop, stop. <laughs> stop. Oh my god. He's what? staring at her, dude. She knows. <laughs> oh. Archbishop would like you to repeat, my lord. After him. Yes, of course. 
Stop looking! You can't look! It's so bad! He's... Oh, he's gonna pick it up. He's gonna pick it up. <laughs> oh, God! I Not can't... Incredible. I can't contain myself right now. This is insane. Everyone in the crowd has to just... What the <laughs> fuck is going on? <laughs> Anthony, 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 Anthony. What are you doing? Oh, she real she knows. She knows. Yeah, she's she it's all run through her head right now. She's realizing it. Edwina realization. Oh. <gasps> oh god, it's Edwina that pulled out. I think she realized. Yeah. With her own eyes. Realize, realize. The queen. What just happened to my wedding? <laughs> the price is a runaway man. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh. bro. If we didn't give back those bracelets to her, that wouldn't have happened. It is just nerves. We will call for tea, and once you have Edwin's gonna be like, stomach, you, you fucking love him. He loves you. Okay, perhaps you might find that tea. It is not tea that I want. Yep, oh, <laughs> I knew it. She's gonna get evil, Edwina. You're in love with him. <laughs> Yes, it is. You told me we had been all secrets to rest, but no. Oh, God. This is so bad, yeah. dude. Do you love him? Oh, yeah. That answers it. That answers it. She does. You don't even have to say anything. That is enough. Maybe Mary's like, no what the heck? Let us all take a moment. Just switch dresses real quick and get back out there. You have kept so very much from me. Go. Anywhere else, Kate. Oh, bro. Go to Anthony's room. Oh, God. The whole Bridgerton squad. Tell me he comes in here. <laughs> No. Oh no. This is insane. Anthony, it's time to talk. I think Daphne might spill the beans. I need to talk to Daphne. You know something? I do not. Daphne, you may be a duchess, but you are still my daughter. Tell me what you know. <laughs> tell me what you know, Daph. I think she's gonna tell Why her. Why did Anthony look right at Daph? vouched for this family, did you not, Lady Danbury? I never would have entertained the thought of making Miss Edwina my diamond, let alone arranging this elaborate affair if it was not for you. You gonna do something here, Lady Danbury? Oh, man. Escort the guests to the gardens and do not allow anyone to leave. The nuptials shall resume shortly, and we shall proceed with our plans. Shit's wild right now, dude. We're just in the middle be... of a wedding. It's paused right now. It's gonna be an end up with Kate. I was hoping to speak with Miss Edwina. Of course. I love your sister, Kate. I'm quite certain this delay is rather unexpected. But I must ask if it is in fact a delay and nothing more. Mm. Are you in love with my sister, bro? Wonder whether it is the marriage or me that you truly want. Uh, it's the marriage. I feel like that's not a huge secret. I feel like. Mm. Is it? It was clear to me then, as it is now, that what we share is greater than all else. And what is it that you believe we share? Our places. Our roles. They align. Yeah. Exactly. You guys are just. Yeah. Mm. Puzzle pieces that fit together. I was not swayed by the insults of the Sheffields or your lack of a dowry. Because you love me. No. Nope. Don't lie to her, Anthony. No, I love Kate. I sympathize with you. Doesn't love you, though. This is it. And what of my sister? Okay. What role will she play between us in the future? 
She's the one I'm in love with. <laughs> Once we marry, she will return to India as she wishes, and you and I will be free of her. That is what you now wish. Don't lie, bro. <sighs> Come on, bro. The great distance between us will only bring you and I closer, but that future is only possible if you decide. The to choice, die. right? Yeah, it's the choice. Who's making it, Edwina? I require a moment to think of my future indeed, but only in the way that I might now imagine it. You must understand. Of course. You're getting on with Kate for a little. Mm, bro. I'm in a place. Not now. <laughs> Could be now. Could be. Could be romantic. Scummy. Let's <laughs> uh, not get. Yeah, I mean, if he opens his door, it's game over. Yeah, right? I know. <laughs> if they come into contact with each other and they're alone, it's. Mm, it's not because it's happened many times before. It's true. They're <laughs> just gonna hover lips and then stop. <laughs> He's gonna f breathe on her. Just everywhere she goes. <laughs> Running away from him, dude. Oh uh, well, look. They're. I mean, they're gonna be alone. He's like, come and get me, come and get me, I'm in here. Let's let's kiss on each other. I can see that I do not know her as well as you do. But that is why I'm coming to you now. You must do something. <laughs> but you have me too, my lord. You have to do something, Kate. <laughs> I'm trying to marry your sister real bad. I have ruined her life. Uh oh. Stop. Stop. <laughs> no, 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 no. Get close. Let's hover. What can we do it? What I say? If they don't kiss, I you. said let's go get it on with Kate. Just do it. Nope. Okay. Nope. Just don't even kiss at this point. I'm nope. over it. I'm <laughs> over you guys. I told you this was gonna happen. It didn't happen. I knew, but I knew they were gonna sort of get it on. They didn't sort of get it on. Uh, Not even close. Ever. If touching hands is getting it on, me and you have got it on a lot, bro. Every oh. time we we high five. Yeah. Would you agree? But yeah, I mean, we do get it on. <laughs> All right. Me and Rob get it on too. Late at night. Our Majesty wishes me to repair today's situation, and for what may very well be the first time. I don't know what to do. I do not know what to do. <laughs> you know it's bad whenever Lady Danbury doesn't know what to do, bro. She's literally panicking. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, everybody. <laughs> laugh, 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 laugh. What else can they do at this Lapalodium. point? Laugh, Elodium. always tell her that there's nothing to be done. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I would rather go out there and offer my hand to one of those birds. <laughs> Me too, Dan Mary. My feelings for Lord Bridgerton do not matter anymore. We do not have a future together. But you, you, Edwina, were born to be Viscountess. But it's gonna be you, Kate. I don't even know at this point, dude. I know, I always thought she actually just might go back to India, Kate. Nah, that'll be shit. I promised I would not consider myself until you and Mama were taken care of. I gave what I had without regret, and I would do it again, Bon. She sacrificed a lot to care for her family, just like Anthony. I do not know which pains me more, your betrayal or your pity to me now. You are my half-sister. Uh-oh, we're half-sisters Oh, come on, now. Edwina, don't be like that. If I go through with this wedding, it will have nothing to do with you. And mic drop. Is she gonna do it? Gentlemen, gentlemen, come now, Featherings. The more appropriate venue for the discussion of business. Oh, we thought you might be coy, Featherings. Oh, uh, they're asking about his minds or whatever. Oh, yeah, here That's we go. Strange. I swear to God, if he scams Will, I'm gonna be so mad. And Mr. Mondrich, I must ask you about this social club of yours. An admirable endeavor, if not rather surprising. Oh, he knows how he got the money because he runs the accounts for the, the Featheringtons. Oh yeah, Will's onto his ass. Not falling for it for a second. Yeah, and Featherington's not falling for Will. The Cowpers, the Clarksons, the Gorings, the Wallaces. And perhaps the better question is, and who would not be that list? <sighs> the Bridgertons. The Bridgertons, I suppose. <laughs> I would never dare think you had affections for another. 
You make me far too jealous, my lady. <laughs> Save your chance for the invest. Why? I have plenty to spare. Oh my gosh, they are throwing flirts. You and I see the truth. And that is why this is such a promising partnership. I see you for the capable woman you are. Okay. You must um, return to the garden. Before. Oh my god, dude. They're, they're gonna get it on at some point. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I knew this. Miss Edwina and I come before you humbly now. In recognition of all Is that there you... not a person alive who can think of something else to say to their queen other than sheer flattery? Yeah, someone just be real with her for a second, please. Are you here to tell me you are going to marry him or not? Did you see them? Oh no, That's no, king, no, no, king, no, no, king. no, 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 no. Oh god. Someone, can someone come and assist? I just don't mean to keep you waiting, Rosie. My bride, my beautiful bride. Do you think he's getting married today? I think. Oh god. Oh, this is so sad, bro. I hear the two of you faced many trials during your happy courtship. Today will make all of it well worth it. Will it not? Yes. Then perhaps you might find your rest, your majesty, before you both rule this kingdom with a kind of love, compassion, and kindness. Ah, uh, now I'm Team Edwina. No. I mean, she's always been such a kind I know, girl. Like, I just completely, I want them to get married now. <laughs> she's not going to do anybody any good, though. She just completely pulled me on her team. I don't think it's public knowledge of the king. No, no, it definitely isn't. Maybe it, it is that he's ill, but not like that. What is going on? I don't know if this wedding's happening or not. I am certain you will find your purpose one day. Everyone must eventually. Have you found yours? <laughs> of course not. Writing. My purpose is being Lady Whistledown. Mm. My purpose will challenge me to be brave and witty. My purpose will oh my God. far beyond the watchful I kind of love Penn. What if you just fell in love with her right now? <laughs> Would they just go and get married? <laughs> Lady Crane was right. Uh. Lady Crane? What did she say? That you cared for me. That you would never forsake me. Then he's go. You're my best friend. Oh, that was adorable. Give me more oh. Colin and Pen Penelope. Oh, whatever are you? You've made a decision to visit him now. Eloise, it is your brother's wish. <laughs> I do not know what to say. This is a bad time, Al. That is all I ask. I'm on Team Pen here. I do not wish for secrets to set us apart. Eloise. It is your brother's wedding. <laughs> Why do you need to talk to Theo right now? Yeah. Who's this joker? What the? What? Oh, oh, they all have people watching all the mm, whistle down suspects. Yeah, he's going to follow. Yeah. He's going to think that she's whistle down. Oh, great. The same cannot be said of true love, of course. It changes. It forgets. It forces you to remember who you once were. And it forces you to choose how you will live with it. The choice. Edwina has to make a choice. Fuck, what's the choice going to be? Everyone deserves to make that choice. Just as everyone deserves to feel its power. Queen's dope. Yeah, she really is cool. She's one of the best. When she's dope, she's dope. Mm, she can also be very scary. Yeah. But she's still dope when she's scary. She's still scary when she's dope. Yeah. What is she gonna do? What do you guys think? I don't think they're getting married. Nah. I'll say they are. Because I feel like the queen would have been upset if they didn't get married before, but now she probably won't be as upset. I don't know. The it could happen though. It really could. Oh my gosh. They got two notes. Oh they're my gonna God. come together and they're no. gonna get married. No. Yeah, what if Edwina's like, oh, I'll give you a wedding. And she's uh, forcing them uh, to get married. I'm going to absolutely... Lose my shit. Bro, please tell me Edwina just is trying to do. Yeah, it's gonna be the Kate right in the wedding Kate. dress, bro. Or no. Oh, it's probably like meet here at this time. You sent word for me. Uh -oh. Edwina. Edwina. Oh. Wow. <laughs> oh my god, dude, this is insane. She playing love. Matchmaker? Love matchmaker right now? 
No. I cannot marry you. Yes. Lord Bridgerton. You cannot provide me with what it is that I want. What it is that I deserve. Love. I can be sure that what I leave behind is not my loss. It is yours, your plan, your feelings that I had merely borrowed. Damn. That's a wild way of putting it. Yeah, Edwina didn't come to play nice. She wasn't here to play matchmaker. She was here to let them no. know. Quite the opposite. I think we're not going to get a kiss until the last episode. That's what I'm feeling. When I read something new or interesting or provoking, it is you who crosses my mind. Oh, I can't stop thinking about this guy. Big old crush on him. And so I am wondering you think about me too? You might also have thought of me when you think. <laughs> so awkward. I've read all of these. Right? Man. And I set them aside for you. Mm. Oh, that's adorable. Perhaps you might share your thoughts on them. Oh, this is so oh, cute. I like bro. them. All is not lost today, ma'am. I have received word. It's Eloise Bridgerton. It had better be a worthy distraction. Uh, Our chat for Lady Whistledown has indeed produced. I feel like Eloise might be getting in trouble, and Penn's gonna have to reveal herself to stop it from happening. The moment we step foot outside those doors, we face the truth. Of what situation? Of our failures. Could this be it? Could be. <laughs> Look, they might even just get married secretly right now. So forgive me, for it is now my wish to suspend time, to delay the inevitable, not to think of what comes next. Oh, they're gonna kiss now. Yep, this is it. This is it. Goodbye, my lord. Yep. Yes! Oh. Thank God, dude. Thank oh, wow. God. They are going all in. It's like the last time they're gonna see each other. Here's the aggressive kissing. Angry kissing. This is it. We've all been waiting for. <laughs> oh man, dude. Finally. The long awaited kiss. It finally happened. They faked this out again in this episode. Literally it happened again, but at the very end. It happened. They actually got their, their makeout sesh that has been long mm -hmm. overdue. The tension between them has just been one of the craziest I've ever seen in a show before. I'm happy it finally happened. Happy for them. Not happy that it happened on the wedding day of Anthony and Kate's sister, which didn't happen because... Whose name is Edwina? Edwina, yes. That didn't happen because Edwina found out how, the true feelings between them. Because of a look. Because of yeah. a look. I mean, it was very obvious. Very, very obvious. They were like literally at doing the nuptials or whatever, and Anthony was just <laughs> drooling, staring at her sister. Like that's insane. I'm just so I'm so sad for Edwina, but she I feel like she handled it pretty good. She um, bossed up there. Yeah, she she bossed up to the king. She gained the queen's respect. Uh, she was just an awesome, awesome character this episode, and it. Unfortunately, it took me off of Team Kate and put me on Team Edwina. I now wish that they were together instead of these two. Um, but that but, wouldn't, but that wouldn't make Edwina happy though, because Anthony would never love her. I know, but I'm just wishing that I wish he would have fell for Edwina rather than Kate. Is what I'm saying. I think uh, I'm just more of a fan of her, for sure. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just like for some reason not too hopeful for the future though, because like she, what she was saying there is like once we leave here, like we gotta like face what we like what just happened. We gotta face the truth. We gotta deal with our repercussions for like, but like doing what we've been doing and having these feelings for each other. So like, I mean, they, they didn't do anything until. Right I mean, it's gonna there. it's gonna be it's gonna come out. I think that that's the reason. Mm -hmm. I mean, reason. they're gonna get together and everybody's gonna be like, oh well. Yeah. That's probably why, huh? And speaking of coming out, I think Penn's gonna have to come out here and say that she's whistle down because I think Elle is gonna get against a wall here. There is a spy following her, but she had an awesome moment with Theo Sharp there. I mean, I am just, they are definitely, like I said last episode, my favorite two couple in this series. Um, they are just magnificent when they're on camera. I love watching them. 
missing on the cutter like three times total. I know, it's just so electric, right? I think uh, Lady Featherington and Lord Featherington are actually going to mingle again and become a couple. I mean, Prudence is quite literally oblivious to everything. She has been standing at the wedding the whole time dancing with that statue, statue. person. Yeah, like, what? hello? No wonder fucking Featherington doesn't want to talk to you. It's nothing much going on there, huh? <laughs> I can do a goddamn brick wall at that point. Like <laughs> literally, she is talking to a brick statue who is some alive, like you know, it's like person painted. Yeah, but still, I think that I feel like Prudence would find out that the her mom and Lord Featherton are banging, and she'd be like, ah, you know. Whatever. No, I think that would definitely upset her. She'd be like, "Mom, why'd you steal my my husband?" And then she'd be like, her, ah, mom would, "Her mom okay. would be like, shut up, Prudence.'" And she'd be like, "Okay." <laughs> I mean, it's just so so irrelevant. And um, Will's on to his little uh, his scheme, his mining scheme. I mean, this yeah, guy I feel is like, a fraud. I, that 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 whole Ruby business is just not gonna go the way they think it is. I don't think. Mm-hmm. But I feel also, like eventually someone's gonna catch on. He's also on a will, though. He knows that that uh, that gentleman's club wasn't of good faith, if you would. I'm really interested to see where we go from here, just because like I don't really know what Edwina's next move is. Like. This whole season has been her like planning to become the Viscountess and everything. And I just don't know what she does next. Like now that she's decided that that's not what she wants anymore, what does she do now? And like how I just don't think that Anthony and Kate are going to be like, oh, okay, let's just get together now. Like it, it's not just going to happen like that. I think Edwina is going to support them in the end. And then she's not going to be in next season. I honestly feel like I wouldn't be surprised if like it literally does end up swapping like what their original intentions were like if kate just becomes the viscountess marries anthony and edwina goes back to india like kate was gonna do yeah. and like becomes the um governess like that's that a teacher was... though yeah but i don't know maybe edwina just does does her thing you gotta get know. edwina's permission because because like kate needs to get edwina's permission like, to marry. like edwina said everything that edwina has been doing so far in her life isn't what she's wanted to do it's just what kate has secretly wanted to do but pushed onto edwina instead so i feel like edwina could do literally anything we don't know at all what she actually wants to do which i'm, I'm, I'm curious to learn because there's two more episodes something's got to happen i do agree with you though Zuff. i think in the end she will sort of accept the yeah. relationship between kate and anthony to, because the whole time edwina was talking like oh you gotta get my sister's approval so i think it's gonna come back and like work the opposite yeah, way edwina, kate's gonna need to get edwina's approval and edwina sure. has always wanted kate to find like love too she's she's always wanted mm-hmm. kate to be happy too it's just rough i mean it was her wedding day bro like you got to give her some time to be mad she's yeah 100 percent allowed to be upset for a bit i think if kate and anthony do get married though they would definitely definitely take care of edwina if you guys like our videos make sure you like comment subscribe check out our links in the description we got the patreon we do all of our uncut videos over there as well as some early access second link is going to be the discord come talk about bridgerton with us we got a great community over there lastly follow our social medias our instagrams and twitters and send some stuff to the address at the very bottom of the description that is our p.o box we do mail time on the channel make sure you check that out and yeah we'll catch you guys in episode seven of bridgerton season two next time peace